Hey guys, so right here in this beaker I have a liquid, but if I start to pour out this liquid onto the plate, we see that this solid crystal starts to form. Wow, this is super cool. Now, this is known as hot ice, and even though it is pretty hot and very exothermic, um, it's definitely not water. This is a super saturated solution of sodium acetate. And learning about this solution teaches us some pretty cool principles of chemistry. In fact, you've probably experienced super saturation before making Kool-Aid. So if you're like me and you add way too much of the powder, you'll notice that sometimes even if you stir a bunch, you'll still have some powder left at the bottom. And that means that the solution you've made is saturated and the water cannot hold any more dissolved sugar. So every substance has a different solubility. For sugar, 179 grams can dissolve in 100 milliliters of water at 20 degrees Celsius or room temperature. However, it's possible to increase solubility by heating that water up. So at 100 degrees Celsius, 487 grams of sugar can dissolve, which is more than double the amount was at room temperature. So using this little hack, we can make what's known as a super saturated solution where more solids are dissolved than theoretically possible. So right here in this beaker, I have 160 grams of sodium acetate, and I'm going to add 30 milliliters of water to it. Now looking at this, it really doesn't look too soluble. So let's heat it up. Now, one quick thing I want to mention is that these crystals are sodium acetate trihydrate, meaning that every sodium acetate molecule is surrounded by three water molecules. So when it's heated, that water will come out and mix with the other water. And that doesn't really affect the demonstration. I just want to make it clear that the sodium acetate is not quite that soluble, where 160 grams will dissolve in 30 milliliters. In fact, sodium acetate anhydrous, which is that sodium acetate without the three water molecules, has a solubility of 123 grams per 100 milliliters at 20 degrees Celsius. And that raises to 163 grams at 100 degrees. So by slowly heating it up, we're gonna allow all of these crystals to dissolve. So I'm gonna occasionally stir, and then I'm also gonna keep some aluminum foil over the top to prevent evaporation and to keep some of the dust out. So our sodium acetate solution is complete and all the crystals are dissolved. But in order to make it super saturated, we need to cool our solution back down to room temperature. We can do this with the help of some ice water. All right, so we'll let her cool off and then we'll be all set. So our sodium acetate solution has now cooled back to room temperature, which means that I am holding a super saturated solution. Now, the only reason that this solution hasn't gone back to its crystal form is because the sodium acetate needs a nucleation site to form a crystal upon. So this little tiny piece of sodium acetate will be our seed crystal and it will allow for our crystal to form. So let's make another tower. This is still so cool. It really never gets old. <laughs> we can even pour it fast and we see that it still builds up quite a bit. Now, in addition to making these crystal towers, you can even put your entire hand in a solution of sodium acetate as long as you have a few little tiny pieces on your fingers. However, if you try this at home, you'll notice that it's super, super hot, like almost unbearably hot. And that's because the reaction is very exothermic. If you think of heat as kinetic energy or movement, those dissolved ions are moving around a bunch and have a lot of energy. However, when they're quickly put back into place in this neat and orderly crystal, they move a lot less. 
and all of this extra energy has to go somewhere, so it's released as heat, which gives this demo its iconic name. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed creating this video, please leave a like or subscribe. And if you decide to try this on your own, then please send me some cool pictures. Also, thanks to all my patrons who really make these videos possible. Thanks. Wow, this is dope.